Uh, today, um, first of all, I want to talk about infix, prefix, and postfix. Uh, this will be a background information for you because we'll have exercises based on this background information. Therefore, first of all, I will start to talk about infix, prefix, and postfix. Now, let me summarize them with this example. Let's say that we have, we have A plus B. This is an expression, and in this expression, A and B are operands. Plus means, I mean, it is operator, and it means addition. So A and B will be added. Okay, this is the idea of this expression. So A and B are operands, plus is operator, and here I am adding A and B. This is the idea. If you are using operator between operands, we are calling this form infix form. Okay? If you use operator before the operands, like this, plus A and B, we are calling this prefix form. If you are using operator after the operands, A, B plus, we are calling this postfix form. Okay? All of them, I mean infix, prefix, and postfix, all of them are producing the same result. What I mean with the same result? For example, if you say 2 plus 4, this is equal to 6. Plus 2, 4 is equal to 6. And 2, 4 plus is equal to 6. The difference here is their representations. I mean, we used infix here, infix form. We used prefix form here, and we used postfix form here. Okay? This is the only difference. Okay? Okay. Let me show you another example. Let's say that I have A plus B multiply C. This is another expression. This is another example. If we have such expression, uh, this is infix form, of course. This is infix because operators are used between operands. So if I want to represent this expression with, let's say, postfix form, so how I can write this expression? Don't forget the basic of postfix. Operator should be before the op uh, after the operands. This is postfix. So when I look this expression, how I can convert it to postfix form? This is the question in this example. Okay, uh, if you have more than one operator in the expression, you need to consider presence and associativity table. What is presence and associativity table? Uh, this table shows the priorities of operators. For example, for example, multiplication and division operators priority is higher than addition and subtraction. Okay? So when you go up, priority is higher. So if you have multiplication or division, so you need to evaluate that part first. Okay? Okay, let's look at this expression. 
what we have here we have addition and subtraction so which part should i evaluate first multiplication because multiplication's priority is higher what i am doing i am taking this block and converting it to postfix so when i convert this to postfix this part will be b c multiply so this is postfix form of this block okay okay now after i have this block in postfix form so i need to continue because i still have one more operator the left part because addition comes after multiplication so if i have this block if i have addition and a so i need to do i will write a then the block okay which is b c multiply this is my block and then addition comes as a result the postfix will be a b c multiply plus for this expression for this infix uh, expression if you want to convert to postfix expression this is its postfix form okay but you need to be careful about presence and associativity okay let's say that let's say that i'm keeping it here let's say that i have a plus b multiply c but i used parentheses here so what happens when we use parentheses we are changing the priority so when you have parentheses that part will be evaluated first therefore when you convert it to another form or you want to represent that expression in another form you need to consider this situation so here first of all i need to evaluate this part because we have a parenthesis and in postfix and prefix we are not using parentheses therefore i need to write their operators based on that so when you have this one first so let's write it in postfix a b plus okay okay so this is my block for this part then c comes multiply c comes and if i have this block i will put c here and then multiplication because it will be postfix so the postfix the postfix of this expression will be a b plus c multiply and as you see these two this one and this one are not the same because their original their original expressions are not the same here b is multiplied with c and a is added to the result here a added with b and multiplied and the result is multiplied with c so the expressions are different so it's very normal to have different postfix forms of these expressions okay let me clarify it for this expression 2 plus 4 multiply 8 what is the result of this 2 plus 4 multiply 8 yes it is 34 if i say if i say 2 plus 4 multiply 8 and i use parentheses here so what will be the result 48 okay 48 so these two expressions are not the same that's why i am considering priority when i am converting in my infix forms into postfix form this is 
the idea here. Okay? And another thing, you have to be careful that. Uh, I told about presence and associativity, okay, uh, but we told about presence so far. Be careful about the associativity. I mean, if you use two same operators in the same expression, so you need to consider its associativity. For example, if you are using this A multiply B divide C, so both operators have the same priority. So how I can evaluate? Which one will be evaluated first? So this is, in this situation, you need to consider their associativity. When you look to multiplication and division operators, associativity for these is left to right. So left to right means you will consider uh, from left to right. So in this expression, First of all, you need to consider multiplication because it comes first. So I'm, I'm moving from left to right. Okay? Then evaluate this one first, first and then this one. This is the idea. Okay. Let me show you another example. And here, let's say that I have A plus B multiply C minus D. What is, what is the postfix form of this infix form? Here, I'm looking presence and associativity of the operators. So when I look at that, I see that I need to evaluate this one, then this one, then this one, okay? So here, let's start one by one. I'm taking this. What is the postfix form of A plus B? It is AB plus. It is AB plus. What is the postfix form of C minus D? It is CD minus. Then I have two blocks. And we have multiplication here. So let's evaluate this. This block comes here, A, B plus. Then this block comes here, C, D minus. Then multiplication comes. So this is the postfix form of this infix form. Okay? Okay. What about prefix? It is the same. Just the operator comes before the operands. This is the difference. We told about infix and postfix. What about prefix? It is the same. Just we are doing, uh, what we are doing, we are putting the operator before the operands. Okay, let's do it for the same expression. I have A plus B multiply C, C, Sorry, C minus D. Okay. Still, I'm looking presence and associativity. Therefore, this one will be first. And I'm changing it to prefix form. A, B, I will put the operator here. Then this one comes here. Minus C and D. So I have two blocks here. You are now, this is the, I'm using blocks when I'm doing this, con, this type of conversions. Um, it, because it makes it easier, okay, to follow this conversion step by step. So assume that this is one block. So one block, here is multiplication, another block. Assume that this is X and Y, for example. 
and you have multiplication. So take x here, take y here, and take the operator before the operands. So what is x? x is plus ab. What is y? Minus cd. And here is the multiplication. So this is the infix form of this expression. OK? But don't forget, whatever you have, infix, prefix, or postfix of the same expression, uh, the result will be the same. I mean, if I say 2 plus 4 multiply 8 minus 6, this is equal to 2, 4 plus 8, 6 minus multiply. And this is equal to multiply plus 2, 4 minus 8, 6. So the, the difference is their representations. But the results of these expressions are the same. Is that okay? Okay, that's good. 